everyone, um, I don't even know what to say because I haven't like, been on chit chat get ready with me in a long time, but we're just gonna crack on. This back look, ground looks edited, doesn't it? It's not, it's giving me like mean girl vibes, but I've had like problems with my eyebrows and the like slugs, and yeah, I've used the select cover up from MAC to carve them out. But it comes out so fast, so I'm actually gonna squeeze this into like a little pot because you use more than what you need, but I'm gonna use what's left on my hand to prime my lids. This is the one that P. Louise uses. This is kind of like, what, I, I don't know. Everyone knows that she's good for like the base. I don't want this to be like a really long video, but I know it is, but I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I love this. I don't feel like I use it as much as that. Probably should, but oh, there's no like matte shade. That's the one thing I don't like. So I have to set my crease. I just prefer the way my eyeshadow goes on when I do. So I'm going to take some face powder. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wing it, but I'm going to take this orange yellow shade here and I'm going to use that as my transition. Everyone's actually been giving me so much hair for the way I speak, it's so funny. Like someone that tries me if I had something wrong with me and I was like, see ya. I'm gonna go in with this one. And I'm gonna use that to deepen up my crease. I'm gonna take a Sigma E25. I have a discount card, I think it's Amber or Amber. I'm not sure. I've literally got a line down my eyelid and I don't know why. I kind of want to do like a, a half cut crease but make the outer corner like really deep. Kind of like P. Louise vibes, I've just been loving the makeup that she's doing recently. I just love the makeup she does in general but... Let's go in with this orange shade, orange red. Like a tangerine. It's been very dirty in MAC 221 so I'm just going to like rub it on my toe. I'm going to try this my excess off. Best brush ever. Every colour I'm adding I'm putting on my outer corner as well. And I'm bringing the colour right in to the crease, like the inner corner, so that way when you carve out the way, you can still see this colour above it, if that makes sense. So I came up with this, it's like, just a gold cute cut crease. This is like the look I always do, but I just love it. Like, who doesn't love this type of look? Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish off on this other eye. So I'm taking the MAC 221, and I'm just going to... Start off with this colour, then go into this colour, and then go into this colour, and then I deepen it with the black. But I'll show you. So I'm taking the lighter one, going straight in. It looks messy because I've just gone hefty with the brush. But I just got my bigger one and go in with the orange transition. You just gotta keep blending. It doesn't matter if you get it like all over the lid because you could, you like put concealer on it anywhere. And I'm going in with the deeper shade next to that one we just used. I'm just doing the same steps. Now I'm going in with the chocolate brown. I'm doing it all on the same brush except the black. That's like a tip for makeup eyes. Like, I don't actually do like makeup myself, but I am like a makeup artist technically. But try to use as like little brushes as you can. That way, like after the you clean, you don't have to like clean all your brushes. You might just have a couple of that to clean. You've got to clean if that makes sense. Like you're just making it easy for yourself. If you can just try like limit the amount of brushes you're using. To apply the black, I'm taking them off at M506. It's like a tiny little fluffy pencil brush. I say like a little detail one. And I'm just, it's not like the most pigmented black, but I, I kind of like it like that. I like how I can still see my transition color and then the red and then the brown and then the black. If that makes sense, I like sandwich. I want to do more videos like this, like detailed, in depth. Let me know. Um, for the brow bone highlight, I'm just taking that second one now, that creamy, whitey one. I love an intense brow bone highlight, but it's just a personal preference. Cut the crease, I'm taking the Royal and Langnickel large concealer brush, which looks like that, and then put some of that concealer on this little part, so. 
gonna be hot on cover. Oh, is it? The spine? Yesterday, out of portion to blend it, I just kind of lightly do this motion and then I usually just press my finger, especially when the outer corner is so dark. For the lid, I'm taking this rose gold shade, it's beautiful. I'm applying that on a um, Sigma E54 and I'm just wetting it with, I'm just going to wet it with my Mario Badescu spray to make the pigment as intense as it can be. Taking my 221, which I'll have like leftover product on, I'm just blending the outer colours. I mean, I'm just blending the, the like cut crease with the outer corner. I'm basically just gonna skip straight through my face because it's like, oh, I've broken. It's just like, so at foundation, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Matte and Parlour. I'm gonna put some on a brush, broken one. That's a lot. And I'm gonna put a couple of drops of the iconic highlighting drops in. Just a couple. I'll do it to be honest. This is too much foundation for my liking, but just gonna rub my brush onto my towel. I actually just keep like a towel on my lap to like wipe my brushes on. On the that I'm taking the Instant Anti-Age, the Eye Eraser. This is in the shade Neutralizer from Maybelline. I'm just gonna bake my face with the Curti Aspen powder. I got mine off Amazon for that £16 for like full toe. To contour, I'm taking the Hula from Benefit on a fake nails brush, which were a quid. Bronze, I'm gonna take MAC Give Me Sun. I just bought some bits because I'm off an all day and I like I want to be bronzed and stuff. So I also bought the face and body foundation. Um I'm just gonna take like an angled brush from say ya. From Barbella, Barbella, however you say it, and it's just like orange as fuck. <laughs> This is not for like the paler side. Mm -mm. If I'm like <laughs> tangerine, no hun. Imagine I'm on holiday, just like all over. For highlight, I'm gonna take Mac O Darling. This was in the limited edition packaging, but it is now a permanent highlighter, like with the line. Uh, so I'm just gonna. Just to finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna take a mixture of the, the darker shades that we use and then I'm gonna blend it out with the orange just so it kind of gets a gradient. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I like my under eyes very smoky, but it's just about personal preference. And then to make it even more smoke, I'm going to take a dark brown eyeliner, I prefer brown of black. It's the Makeup Geek Expresso, my favourite liners ever. I've got like the pack of them, if you want like good eyeliners, different colours, I'd recommend them. I'm going to put it on the tight line and waterline. Slightly overdraw my lips, slightly, maybe a little bit.
but much to come. This is a um, cream sheen finish. So that is the finished makeup look and I'm going to film more of these videos if you want. Oh, you know what I'm done? I haven't put lashes on. Where's my lashes? Mascara on. Right, I'm going to put um, Bambi lashes on off camera. Right, so I've put my lashes on. I put Bambi from Amber's lashes and I'll leave a link to them down below. Um, so that is the finished makeup look. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. If you want me to see, like, I'm going to post photos on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram name, like, here. Um, if you follow me, I post, like, makeup tutorials on there, like, six, seven days a week. Just because I like to do that. Um, I'm going to film a 50 facts about me tag right now. Just trying to get some more videos up. Because, see ya. Uh, yeah. Let me know what makeup looks you want to see next. Or other fun videos. And I'll see you in my next video. So yeah.